Right, we've now got the uh, camcorder connected up to the focuser and I think you'll agree that it's it looks a little bit confusing. You can't see what's what, there's a lot of darkness, a lot of shadows, uh, a lot of reflections. Uh, so first thing what we're going to do is we're going to insert the piece of red card opposite the focuser, like so. And that starts to clear things up quite a bit at that point. Um, I will point out also at, at this stage, it's a good idea to have your telescope pointing at a source of light, such as um, a window or a, you know a door with a, a glass door, um, just somewhere that gives you plenty of light because it is an awkward situation for seeing. Um, next, we're going to fit in the the blue acetate that I showed you and clamp it up, which will start to make things look a little bit clearer again. So. In it goes and we just clamp this to uh, to the spider veins and there it is so now you can see a lot more contrast in there uh, and you can tell exactly what's what uh, the outside blackness is is the focuser uh, it's the outside diameter well the inside diameter of your focuser um, obviously the red is the card that's the area around your secondary mirror and now that you can see if I put my hand in and start to tilt it you can see what it is that we're looking at you can also see the mount uh, the mirror mount which is just here that's the shadow of that part of the mirror mount and what we're looking to do is we're trying to get uh, that circle which is now patently obvious is, is the, the presented circle of your secondary and we're trying to get that uh, exactly centered in in the red circle um, and presenting as a, as a circle itself at the same time. You can see if you sort of twist it, you now we're presenting like a rugby ball. And so you want to be sort of working your way towards getting a, a, as perfect a circle as you can sort of in this plane. And also, once you've got that, you need to be altering that centre screw to move the mirror up and down if it needs it in sort of this direction if it needs to sort of come one way or another within that red circle um, and then once you've got there you want to be start looking at adjusting your secondary adjustment screws if you've got any sort of you know if, if you if you need to to bring it sort of to the what looks like up and down there but is actually to the left and to the right which is over here and opposite where my finger is now but if you've got everything right, uh, you've got your focuser centred, you've got your spider nice and centred, you shouldn't actually need to do very much with those three adjustment screws at all. Um, a lot of what you do should just be with the middle one. Uh, bearing in mind that we're, we're covering in depth here um, and you know, just for a, a regular collimation, you don't need to go to these sort of stages. Um, like I said, unless you sort of get fed up one day and want to have a go and, and just try and put, collimate your scope as, as perfectly as you can do. Um, what you can do at this point, and what I've done before, is I've got a camcorder that takes stills. And what I've done is I've positioned my mirror where I think in the viewfinder in the camcorder it looks right, and taken a still picture and then pull the memory card out of the camcorder and put it in a graphics package and then measured in my graphics package the area, the red area that, that's surrounding um, my primary, uh, sorry, my secondary to make sure that it is absolutely millimetre perfect centred and, and even that it's a circle, you know, like I said, it's, it's collimation OCD and you can go too far um, but then again, I'm like a, a really bad sufferer from it um, but there we go that sort of gives you an idea of what it is that you're aiming to achieve and once you've got centered to to sort of a, a basic extent you would do this um, with a sight tube normally get your get your, your mirror sort of centered how it is there get it you know as, as well as you can and then later you'd be looking at pulling um, pulling your blockages out the, the your isolators from your from your primary mirror and looking to see your mirror clips uh, your three mirror clips and, and, and getting those sort of um, around the view in, in your secondary so that you know that everything's squared up 
uh, and some people like to use a Cheshire. I don't like I don't like Cheshires to be honest. I, I, I prefer to do it this way. Um, but like I said, we're looking to get as perfect a circle as we can, and centered within the red as perfectly as we can because the outside diameter of that red circle is actually the inside of, of your focuser tube so you know that if you're presenting a perfect circle with with your secondary and that perfect circle is dead centered in that red circle you know now that your secondary mirror is perfectly centered there's still some little there's still some tilt to be done with it um, which we can't do using this method but um, you know, like I said, it, it, it's, I'm hoping that people will sort of learn from, from some of the stuff that I'm showing and, you know, use it to, to the benefit of maybe, you know, look at other ideas and, and at least it helps you to understand exactly what's going on um, and helps you do a better job. So that's that part so far. Uh, we'll move on in a couple of minutes when I've just sort of tightened things up and, and, and done my own little adjustments at this point. <laughs> 